Hello, my name is Manvita, and in this video, I will be discussing the Azure File Sync Agent version 11 cloud tiering updates. Before we jump in and discuss the new updates, here's just a quick recap of what cloud tiering is. Cloud tiering is the separation between namespace and file content. For tiered files, the size on disk is zero, since only the namespace is stored locally. The file content itself is in the cloud. A file that is not tiered would look like the image on the right, since the size on disk would be about equal to the logical size of the file. Now, let's dive into what's new for cloud tiering in Azure File Sync Agent version 11. The first new update I'll be talking about is the initial download mode option. When a server is connecting to an Azure file share with files in it, you can now decide how you want the server to initially download the file share data. When cloud tiering is enabled, you have two options. The first option is to recall the namespace first and then recall the file content by last modified timestamp till local disk capacity is reached. If you have enough disk space and you know that files that are last modified should be cached locally, this is the option for you. The second option is to initially recall the namespace only and recall the file content when accessed. This option is best if you want to minimize the capacity used on your local disk and want users to decide which files should be cached locally. When cloud tiering is disabled, in addition to the two options above, you get a third option as well, which is to avoid tiered files altogether. The files will only appear on the server once they are fully downloaded. If you have applications that require full files to be present and cannot tolerate tiered files in its namespace, this is the option for you. The other new feature with V11 is proactive recalling. When a file is created or modified, you now have the option to proactively recall a file to servers that you specify. This makes the new or modified file readily available for consumption in each server you specified. For example, say you have a global company with offices in the US and India. A team in the US office is making a series of edits to files in a specific file share. The India office needs these files locally cached and ready to go when their workday begins. In scenarios like this, proactive recalling is extremely beneficial. If the US server endpoint and India server endpoint are in the same sync group, by enabling proactive recalling for India server endpoint, these new or modified files will be readily available for consumption. Without selecting this option, the files that India needs will be tiered files and will have to be manually recalled. One thing you might want to keep in mind is that if files recalled to the server are not actually needed locally, then unnecessary recall to the server can increase your egress traffic and bill from Azure. Therefore, you will only want to enable proactive recalling when you know that pre-populating the cache on a server with recent changes in the cloud will have a positive effect on users or applications using the files on that server. For any additional questions regarding cloud tiering or for more information about these updates, please visit the links below. Thanks for listening!